What's up, y'all? My name is Prince, and I'm an urban acolyte. I almost popped my shirt, <laughs> but then I remembered I'm rocking the Golden Bell Fitness, the Golden Bell Training. Got the yin and yang and the kettlebell, right? Training the body, training the mind, and moving beyond. That, that's that's what this means. That That's what kicked off Urban Acolyte, right? It was doing Golden Bell Training, and the people doing that are on the path of an urban acolyte. That's how this whole thing got started, right? It didn't start, Prince put on a Jedi robe and start talking about Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker. It started with training, right? Training the body, training the mind, right? And that's that's what I'm trying to get back to. But anyway, this is the month of August. We're talking The Last Jedi here on Urban Acolyte TV. I want to talk to you guys about Poe Dameron and uh, Vice Admiral Holdo. I kind of took this up in another video. I don't remember which one, but uh, I really want to address that specifically. Of course, there's always going to be tangents here. If you don't like the tangents, then you need to find another channel to watch, right? This is never going to be pure Star Wars. Matter of fact, I'm trying to branch out. Why am I trying to branch out? Because of this, because I'm being true to this. Talking about training the body, training the mind. Yesterday, I showed y'all a video. I said I was krilling it in the workout with the kettlebells and I've had people the last few weeks as I've been showing more fitness related stuff over on Facebook, Instagram, got a bunch of y'all following the Golden Bell Training Instagram account coming over from Urban Acolyte over on Instagram. On IG, people giving me props about my Stankonia Dragon Ball shirt and I said, I said, hey bro, geek them. Hey man, what if I switch the game up on them and instead of talking about being a real life Jedi, I just say, hey man, we trying to train to be like Krillin. And Krillin like the mightiest human in Dragon Ball, right? So um, uh, shout outs to the big homie, Chris Rhines. He's the one that hooked me up with this shirt uh, back when uh, I was covering Rogue One stuff. I did a video for his comic book shop. Hey, big homie. Uh, anytime you want me to have a discussion and you want to host a discussion, it don't even have to be related to Star Wars. Let me know, dog, and I will. I don't give a. I, hey, man, at this point, I'm like, I'm going to make the videos that I want to make on this channel, and there's only going to be one channel. Uh, I'm still going to do stuff on the Golden Bell Training channel, but that's going to be specifically related to fitness. So, like, demonstration videos for my training, for my long distance personal training clients or stuff for nutrition so those videos will probably be private or unlisted so uh so don't even worry about trying to find that channel i'm gonna just move all of those videos over here if y'all don't like them shit you don't like them don't watch them right uh I i'm going the evan carmichael route and he said look man prince you only need to have one channel let people pick and choose what they want to watch don't worry about the views um uh, build your business off of youtube and let YouTube be a way for people to find you and find whatever businesses that you have, right? And uh, and that's that's how I'm gonna use YouTube. So I don't care about having a million views and, and all of that. I, I'm just trying to put stuff out there and have one place, a one-stop shop where people can find me and then they can branch out to the other avenues to get more specific. Prince, I wanna do martial arts. Prince, uh, uh, we want you to come and speak at our Unitarian church or at our conference or whatever, you know, so that that so this is it. Right. The buck stops here. I'm not branding everything under Urban Acolyte. It's just this is the place to find me on YouTube. And if the algorithm, if I kill my channel, who cares? Right. If 50 people watch a video and those 50 people come to a workshop that costs 500 bucks each, that's 50 people paying me $500. So, hey man, what is that, like 25 Gs? <laughs> so so I'm not worried about the view counts and the numbers. Uh, other people can get caught up in that. Uh, I'm not one of them. So um, the, the argument has been, and when somebody asked me, I, I didn't even go back to find the question. Would things have gone different if, if, if Vice Admiral Holdo anticipated that Poe was going to stage a mutiny? That she knows he's a hothead, this and that. I'm going to say no. There's no way that you can plan for every situation. Look, man. Ryan Johnson went into this. He said, how can I challenge our three heroes? Ray, Finn, and Poe. I'm going to separate all of them and make them deal with the most difficult situation that they can deal with. Now, I already said at one point, 
Finn's mission was going to be with Poe Dameron. They were going to leave together and go find the master code breaker and break it. But then it was like, well, you know, they don't really have the skills to, to, to get all of this done. And then it would have been a buddy cop move thing, right? It would have been like Eddie Murphy in 48 hours or something like that, right? And it's like, well, Poe po and Finn work good together. Uh, you know, cause hey buddy, yeah, Poe, all right, buddy, come on, buddy, Finn, you look good, Finn, you look real good, right? And then it would have been the whole little homoerotic bromance, and I'm sure uh, the the Finn Poe shippers probably would have enjoyed that. But if you think the Kanto bite scenes, if you hated those, you would have really hated them if it had been Finn and Poe, cause it would have been boring, and they just would have been going back and forth. I appreciate the Kanto Bite stuff better having read the book because then you understand that there's like this sexual tension between, well, I don't really want to say sexual tension because it kind of wasn't, but it was because uh, Rose, Rose is trying to get with Finn. She's trying to get Finn's Finn, right? And she's jealous of Ray, but then at the same time, she's like, how can this guy be such a great hero and he's so good looking and he came from the First Order, but man, he is dumb and then she's like well it's not his fault the first order like he doesn't know anything he all he knows is oh my life i had to fight right all he knows is that was what the first order taught him right so it's like it's like uh you see somebody and you're immediately attracted to them but then they do and you're just like oh ooh, like turn off but then the more time you spend with them it's like well, at first I thought they were hot and then I kind of, I don't know, I feel kind of lukewarm, but then it's like the more time you spend around them, the more it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, it wasn't just a, a, a first impression that, yeah, I'm digging them. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling them. I'm feeling them hard. And that, I mean, and that culminated in Rose, you know, we fight to protect the things we love. <laughs> right? That's what Rose did. You know, surprise. I want your thing, Finn. I want that blaster. <laughs> All the women are gonna be mad at me that I just said that. But it is what it is. Y'all know how it is. I mean, it is what it is. Hey. So anyway, so that that you know that whole thing, Finn and Finn and Poe wouldn't have worked. It, it just wouldn't have worked, right? So you gotta you gotta really you really gotta look at Poe's character, right? Poe Dameron, his father is like spec ops. He, he's like a Navy SEAL, Green Beret, paratrooper, uh, first recon type duty, special forces, right? He's taking orders directly from General Solo, right? He, he really should have been leading Han, but Han is Han, you know, he's Han about it, right? <laughs> right, he, he he's up there with Leia, right? So, you know, uh, so it's like your dad is your dad is a Navy SEAL and, and your mom is Top Gun, right? So he's the, the best of the best, the cream of the crop when it comes to. And then a lot of y'all don't even know Poe's background. Oh, OK, well, you know now that uh, Kess Dameron and Shara Bay were his parents. Poe was insubordinate from the beginning. How do you think he joined the resistance? Well, the resistance. Um, let me see. Let me come up with a bullshit answer because. I don't know and I haven't read the books and I obviously don't know uh, the story and before the awakening that Poe disobeyed orders. He was told not to continue to investigate the first order, but he did. And then he was going to be court martialed. But Ray, uh, Ray, but Leia saved his ass and said, look, you want to investigate the, the first order? I want to investigate the first order and I got a spot just for you. And why is that? Because Leia Leia's like that auntie, that auntie that knew you before you, when you, when you was knee high, boy, the last time I saw you, you was knee high to a grasshopper. Hey, auntie. Right? That, seriously, like, Leia goes all the way back with, with Shara and Kess and, I mean, you know, to the re rebellion days, Poe was a little kid, you know, Leia probably saw Poe running around, you know, on the tee, you know, sucking the titty, getting his milk. And, you know, when he started walking and we, you know, like they, they tight, man. I mean, you know, Luke gave Shara Bay one of the Uniti tree saplings. So they close, man. He grew up on Yavin 4 in the shadow of the rebellion and 
and dreaming about all of this stuff and he wants to be a hero and Poe is like hey auntie Poe is like Han Solo if Han had grown up in a military family like he's reckless but he's a hero he's got all those Han qualities and and if you think about Leia she likes that and right he's reckless he's he's Han right he's Han as if Han were a military pilot if Han had you know stayed with the the Imperials and, and become a pilot and gone back and gotten uh gotten his his, his first boo out of uh, what's her name uh Kira out of uh, off of Coruscant and you know they if the you know the Empire had let him you know live live the life that he wanted to live and be a pilot but you know that shit wasn't gonna happen he probably would have died on the Death Star right got blown the fuck up by Luke Skywalker or, I don't know one of them motherfuckers Shar Bay might have killed him I don't know Hera might have took him out but uh that didn't happen right woulda coulda shoulda Elseworlds Elseworlds Star Wars where uh Elseworld story where Han Solo stays with the Empire. Who would he be? What would he become? Inquiring minds want to know. Right? So my point is, man, like Poe was gonna eat the whole point was look, Leia's priming him for leadership, but he's a loose cannon. He's unpredictable. And it's like dog, right? This has worked out for you. But you're not Han Solo. You even Han Solo smuggler's luck ran out. It ran out, and what happened? His son put a lightsaber through his chest, right? And then he fell to his death, and then the the, the planet blew up, right? So Han is not coming back. <laughs> he got killed, and then he got turned into atoms. He got killed. He fell down the abyss, and then got turned into atoms, right? He might still be falling through space if his if he, his uh, he hadn't been scattered into space dust. Unless uh, the, the Enterprise grows, goes through some wormhole and manages to beam him out. And we see Han Solo running around with Captain Kirk, who can smash the most honeys now. <laughs> they having a competition. Uh, but um, that's a huge tangent. Anyway, my point is, right, Poe has to learn how to not be a flyboy flying by the seat of his pants. He's being primed for leadership. He figured he was going to be, you know, Leia would pick him, but she didn't, right? And why is that? Look, man, some of y'all arguing, if you lived on an aircraft carrier and you you some officer or something, you might have better insight in this than me. But this is, I mean, I lived on a carrier. I, I performed maintenance on one on the USS Ronald Reagan, the mighty Reagan CVN-76. And look, man, we had a captain. We had an admiral as the carrier. We were the, the lead ship in our battle group, right? So the captains, the COs of those other ships in their battle group, they had briefings, they knew stuff. The pilots on our ship that were doing flight ops, hey man, the only thing that they needed to know was what pertained to them doing flight ops. If ships movement had, if, hey, if flight ops are secured, but we still got ships movement going on, they was in their rack, sleep or, or eating or, or training or doing their own briefs about flight ops stuff, right? And that, so Poe, Poe had no reason to know anything about Leia's plan. Look, if, if Leia hadn't gotten take gotten got put in a coma from rescuing herself from getting spaced, right, would we still be having this argument that, oh, well, Poe staged a mutiny. The whole point was he staged a mutiny because he didn't know what what Leia's plan was and that Holdo was carrying out Leia's orders. Okay, I'm I'm the only I'm the only leadership that's that remains because everybody else got space that was on the bridge of the Radis. i'm the last of of you know we we got these other ships that have gotten blown up i don't know if the other captains went down with their ships or what but hold those it the buck stops here i'm i'm it i'm part of leia's inner group because this pertains to ship's movement, so I know what the plan is. People are like, no, if, if Poe had done it and they jumped the hyperspace and, and Rose and Finn succeeded, and I said, where the hell would they go? Oh, well, they would jump the hyperspace and go to another planet. Where the hell would they go? They had no fuel. Where are they gonna go, right? Man, people, some of it's intellectual dishonesty, man. Look, the plan was to make the jump to hyperspace to go to Crate and radio for help. You have no supplies, you have nothing. Go to this planet where you have this hidden base that you established 30 years ago, 
more than 30 years ago, hide out there and wait for help. That was the plan. Paul Dameron did not know that plan. So if he jumped the hyperspace, now where do you go? Answer that question. You gotta make something up. Hey man, y'all talk about mental gymnastics. To answer the question, what would Poe do if, if, if his plan succeeded, Rosenfinn managed to disable the tracking device, get back to the Raddus, and they jump to hyperspace. Where do they go? With no fuel, right? Okay, the First Order can't track them, but what the fuck they gonna do now? Okay, they go to another planet, right? That might not, there might not be a base. Oh, but, I mean, what are, what are they gonna do? Leia already had a plan. That was the plan. And Poe's, Poe's, uh, what Poe had to learn was, hey man, sometimes you, you can't fly by the seat of your pants. In order to be a good leader, you gotta be a good follower. You gotta trust the process. You gotta trust the process. I said that in another video. I was like, you gotta trust in the force. The force has a will and sometimes uh, people's, I got a mosquito in here. I better get that thing. It's gonna be biting me while I'm editing this video. But you know, Poe po was like, I got the plan. I know what to do. Uh, I'm a man of action. Hey man, sometimes the best action is, is non-action. That's a Taoist teaching. So I know I dropped some Taoism. Sometimes the best plan of action is non-action because even non-action is, is action. Even not doing is doing, right? That's the whole, that's the whole idea of Wu Wei, right? You do something by not doing it, right? You want to be the best at something? Don't try to be the best at it. Stop striving, let go, just do it, just be in the moment. And that's what Poe needed to learn, right? That's essentially the biggest lesson in The Last Jedi. Luke is trying not to be a Jedi, and by trying not to be a Jedi, he ends up doing the most Jedi thing ever. Fighting the First Order, head on, armed only with a laser sword, except he's not really there. He's not really fighting. They're just extinguishing their own resources. Kylo Ren is just use, using his anger to wear himself out and realizing, hey man, I just made an ass out of myself in front of everybody. And then this dude just vanished. And now he may have given, he may, what Luke did may have caused some people, it might cause some people to defect from the First Order. Like real talk, like what the hell just happened, right? Like the dude that, uh, that had the visions of Luke Skywalker and the legends of Luke Skywalker. And then he settled there on Jakku and became a believer in the force where he was, you know, hardcore Imperial. And of course, Luke Skywalker saved his life too, right? He may have started the Church of the Force there on Jakku, the Tuono villagers, because uh, Lord Santeca didn't start, didn't start it, he went there later. He went there to wait on Leia and Poe, essentially, and to retire and work on his footnotes, his memoirs. That shit ain't happening, right? So, you know, Poe's 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 thing was never meant to happen. That was the journey that he needed to go on. He needed to learn to trust in the process. If you don't like it, hey man, I can't force it down your throat. I'm just explaining it to you from a Taoist perspective. This is the way I interpret it, and uh, I'm okay with that, right? Because that's a real life lesson. Sometimes you got to learn to trust in the process. If you don't like that. Hey man, maybe it's because you haven't learned to trust in the process. You don't, you haven't learned to let go. And uh, the only thing I can tell you to do is to take up a mindfulness practice. And eventually, <laughs> eventually you'll learn how to let go and you'll, you'll start to see some, some things a little bit differently from a different point of view. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so that you can take your first steps towards becoming an urban acolyte. Embark on the journey of becoming the hero of your own story and become a force for change in your community. Make sure to check out more videos from this channel, especially the one that YouTube has recommended for you. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing and may the force of others be with you. Always.